Hello, everyone. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Let me know if you can hear me OK, if you want to say hello. Okay, hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I uh, enjoyed uh, yesterday listening and watching uh, your introduction videos, and I went through and left comments, and I still have a few more that I, I will need to uh, respond to, and I'll do that today. But if you have not uploaded your introduction, uh, please do so today. Uh, we're going to do an activity today that's going to require everyone to uh, to create your introduction paragraph. OK, so if you have not done so, you still may do so. So please uh, today go ahead and upload uh, to this page. Yesterday at two o'clock, we had an online session. Some of you were having some problems uploading video from your phone. So we figured out a way to upload from your computer if if it's a problem to do so on your cell phone. All right, so the main thing here is to use the code that we talked about yesterday. There was a code that appears here. If you're looking at my screen, this is the code that you'll need to enter first. And then enter into Flipgrid using the Microsoft login. That's your university email and password. All right, so if anyone has problems accessing Flipgrid, we can meet again today at 2 o'clock or anytime this afternoon where you, when you don't have class, uh, if you need assistance to upload and work with Flipgrid. But all videos need to be uh, in Flipgrid, okay? Whether you use a cell phone or whether you use a desktop computer or a laptop computer. OK, so again, I really enjoyed uh, watching some of these videos, all of the videos, in fact, and uh, getting to know all of you uh, through some of the uh, questions that were being answered. OK, today we're going to extend this activity, getting to know each other and also now start to discuss uh, family members. And also we're going to do our first activity today where we're going to work together in teams. Now, before we do that, I'd like to do one more activity, uh, and I always like to do this because I think it's important for me to hear from you directly what your expectations are from me, your instructor. And so what I do here is I share a very simple online survey with one question, and this question relates to what you expect from me and also anything that you think I need to know from you to help you achieve your goals for this class. OK, this is something that I don't share with anyone. This is a uh, just a, uh, a private way of you sending me information about anything that you want me to know about you that I need to know to better help you achieve your goals for the class. All right, so this can be uh, anything that you want to share with me so that uh, we work uh, better together throughout the semester. So I'm going to share this link. I want to start today's class before we get into the group activity. I would like for us to begin with this. Again, one question. And I'm asking that you write approximately 150 to 200 words. I want you to put some thought into what your expectations are for me. All right. What do you want from me as an instructor for this class? It's very important that you put in some thought and uh, and share this information and you can write it out in English or in Spanish. Whatever you feel, whichever you feel more comfortable with. Um, but I want to give you guys about 15 or 20 minutes here at the beginning of today's class to complete this one question. All right, your expectations specifically for this class. OK, so this is for listening and speaking 
uh, this class that we're going to be working with and working in throughout the semester. OK, this is not in general for all teachers. This is very specific uh, to this class. So I'm going to copy this link. Much like what we did yesterday in the getting to know you uh, questionnaire. This is a second questionnaire. And I'm going to go ahead and open up this in our chat. And let's see here. All right. Maybe. And OK. All right, so I just uploaded the link. In the chat, I think. Yeah, there it is a little slow. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic. I'm going to mute my uh, camera. I'm going to wait. It's 8.05 right now. So probably 8.25 or so, we will continue with today's group activity. All right, so if anybody has any questions or issues accessing the questionnaire, of course, let me know. I've included the link. You should be able to just click on that. If you're on a desktop computer, it should open up to the questionnaire. All right. Any questions, guys? Thank you. Thank you. All right, so I'll go ahead and mute my mic. If you guys have any doubts, just jump right in, uh, activate your microphone, and we'll come back here at about 8.25. All righty, guys, I think we'll uh, go ahead and uh, begin today's activity. If you have not had a chance to finish the questionnaire, I'm going to leave it open and uh, you can complete it later if you if you um, have not had a chance to to finish. OK, so it will be open uh, after today um, so that you can go ahead and complete uh, that task. All right, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And wait a second here. My computer's a little slow today. All right. OK, so as I mentioned earlier today, try to finish your introduction video in Flipgrid. Uh, make sure that um, that uh, you try to complete that because today's activity were, is an extension of what we did yesterday. So I'm going to begin by going into. Let's see here. All right, I want to present this list of teams and I'd like for you to look for your name to see which team or which group that you're going to be in this week. OK, every week we will be in different groups, but this week. These are going to be our groups. If your name does not appear on this list, uh, please let me know. So we have team one all the way down to team 12. All right, so I'll give you just a second. Try to find your name on here. If your name does not appear, let me know right away. Um, and I will assign you to a team. Most teams are in groups of three. There are two teams that are in groups of four. All right, so does everybody, can everybody find your name here? Got team one, team two, team three, all the way down to team 12. If you want to make a note to yourself, which team you're a member of? Um, teacher. Yes. Uh, my, my name doesn't appear in a team. OK, is uh, who's speaking? Sorry, uh, I'm Alonso. Alonso, OK. 
All right, I'm going to make a note to myself here. Uh, if you want to work in team uh, three, Alonso. Um, yes. OK. Yes. <coughs> Anybody else not appear on the list? Me. And who is th this? I'm Carlos Eduardo. Carlos, OK. Um, how about team four, Carlos? Team four. It says yes, he, Tanya right. and Maria Fernanda. OK. OK. Anyone else? Mr. Stewart. Yes. Um, Carlos is in team 11. There he is. You're right. Carlos, you're in team 11. Thank you. Oh, I can see them. You're welcome. I can see it. Oh, sorry. Great. Thank you. Anyone else? And maybe it's hard to read. It's, it looks maybe I don't know if I can make this a little bit larger. OK, everybody else able to find what find out which team you're on. OK, so now now that you know which team or which group that you're a member of, we're going to go to back to Microsoft Teams and we're going to go to Teams. Now you'll notice that in Microsoft Teams we have what's called channels. Most of our work as a whole group is going to be under the channel called general and this is what you're familiar with. We talked about this yesterday where we have posts and we have files and uh, we have Flipgrid. We can actually access Flipgrid directly from this channel. But we also have 12 hidden channels. And these 12 hidden channels contain all 12 groups. So again, a group and a team is the same. Um, here we're going to enter into our own group. So if you were in team one, you're going to go into group one in Microsoft Teams. Now let me show you around a little bit before we begin, before I explain uh, today's activity. Each group contains its own posts, its own files, and its own notes. So you'll notice again, if I go back to general, these are different posts. We have different files that we've already begun to set up and so on. But if I go back to group one, we have diff we have no posts because it's a brand new group. We have no files because it's a brand new group. And guess what? We don't have any notes at this point, except let me see, let me see what this says here. I've actually already created a note because I've already been into this group. Let me go into an, another group, group 10, and click notes. The first time you go into your group, you're likely to see this page. OK, so again, this is just your first time going in. You're going to click start collaborating. If you click start collaborating, you just do this once. And your OneNote will appear. This is called OneNote, and uh, this is a very useful app. And it's one that they use within each of the channels in Microsoft Teams. All right, so basically posts, files, and notes you guys can use these however you want. These are specific to the group. So in group 10, your posts are only going to appear in group 10. They won't appear in group 9 or group 8 or group 7, only in group 10. Now, another thing that's really nice about these channels and something that you're, we're going to use today, since this is a listening and speaking class, each group is going to create a meeting, just like the meeting that we create on a daily basis for the whole group. You guys, as a small group, can also create your own meetings. So when you go into your own group with your own team members, 
you can click on the top right hand corner of your screen, this down arrow, and select Meet Now. Now, I'm not going to click this now because what happens is you can only be in one meeting at a time. So what's going to happen is you're going to get kicked out temporarily out of the team, the meeting that we're in right now. You're going to get kicked out and you're going to join your own meeting with your small group. So we're going to have many different meetings going on open at the same time. Even though you're only going to be in one group at a time. So I'm going to stay. I'm going to keep our main meeting open. And I'm not going to close it. It's going to stay open, although probably no one will be in it for a while as you're working in your small groups. Now, I can also go into each of your groups as needed, and I may kind of come in and just see how things are going, maybe listen in, maybe, maybe not. It depends. But the main meeting does not close. I will not close it. And when we do activities like this, I will always say, okay, we're going to get back together at, I don't know, 9.30, right? Or 9.35, or I'll give you a time where I'll ask perhaps that everybody come back together in the main meeting so that we can uh, close the meeting and answer any final questions to conclude the class. All right, so again, each group, can create a meeting and again I would select meet now because you're going to select a meeting right now in this moment and it's going to open up just exactly like you're what you're used to in our daily classes but it's only going to be your team members or your group members so that's how we're going to work together I'm going to give you some instructions on what you're going to talk about and what you're going to do but today you can use your meeting feature and under files or under OneNote, you can decide you probably will be working with a file, either a Word document or a OneNote, but it's going to be up to you. Notice that in the files, you can create a lot of different types of files, Word document, Excel spreadsheet, PowerPoint, so on. You can create folders if you want to get really organized, depending on what you're doing. But this is how you create files within your own channel, within, within your own group. You click files at the top, and then you click new, and then you select. You can easily select a, a, a file here. And Wait a second, depending on how fast or slow your internet connection is. And the file should appear. Now, now notice that the this document opens up within Microsoft Teams. I can close this file. And here's the file I just created. I'm back into files. I'm still in my channel. I'm in group 10. If I later decide, no, I made a mistake, I don't want that file, I can easily delete it. But this is all within your group, all within your team space within Microsoft Teams. All right, so files. That's just a general overview how you can get around creating a file. If you say, no, you know what, I want to work in OneNote. I think as a team, it's easier to work in uh, OneNote than I can I can do that. I can create pages here. I can select the page, give it a title, and begin writing whatever it is that you want to write. Okay, so today's task, what are we going to do today working in small groups? Well, today we want to continue to get to know each other, and I'd like to begin talking about our families. And so today what I'd like to do in your groups of three or groups of four, I would like for you to begin introducing yourself again to your team 
members. And I would like for each of you to share a story that involves your family, a story, a story or an experience that has some sort of special meaning or something interesting, uh, a story that involves your family. And as you're telling your story to your teammates, your teammates are going to take notes. Again, you can use OneNote, you can use Microsoft Word, you can use whatever file you wish. But this is how I would take your notes. If you're listening to your teammate, tell a story. This is how I would work together in creating notes based on what the, the speaker is telling you. Again, all of these documents, all of the team members can access, right? This is a shared document, so everyone can contribute as necessary. So here's how I would do today's task. I would write out team member's name. Okay, so write the team person's, the, the first person's name, the, pers the name that the person likes to be referred to as. Select the text. I would give it a heading. I would call it a heading one. And then I would do some bullet points. And I would write out the question words. What, how, why, when, where, with whom. And as the person is telling his or her story, I, if I'm listening to my team member's story, I would work together with my other team member and take notes. Whatever information that the person is telling you in the story, I would try to include in my notes in this list. And I would use bullet points to indicate question words. And then under each question word, you can fill out whatever the speaker is telling you. So let's say that the person is talking about a vacation with his or her family in Puerto Vallarta. So in fact, Puerto Vallarta probably is better under where, where was the vacation? And maybe it was a vacation. So what was it? Well, it was a vacation. And these are just words, key words or phrases. They don't have to be long sentences. They're just, it's just information, key words based on the speaker's story. So as the speaker is telling his or her story, the other team members, right, are completing this information as best as possible. You're listening, you're trying to understand your team members, uh, uh, trying, to in, trying to understand the message. Obviously, everything is done in English. This is our or an English speaking exercise. So this is part of your listening comprehension. How much can you understand from the speaker? So as your team member is telling you the story, you're trying to complete as much information as possible. Now, as your team member is telling the story, maybe the, the team member gives you very little information. Okay, let's assume that the speaker just doesn't know uh, a lot to say and just gives you a little bit of information. Well, then you as your team member, you can ask questions. All right, so what kind of questions can you ask? Well, I would use this as a guide. Maybe your team member didn't say anything about why they took a vacation to Puerto Vallarta. Maybe the uh, you could ask, well, why did you go to Puerto Vallarta? Why didn't you go to somewhere else? Why, why didn't you go to Cancun? Right? So maybe they say, well, uh, we got a good discount. Right? We got a good discount. Or maybe we have family that live in Puerto Vallarta, and we also wanted to visit family there. Right? Whatever they tell you. But use this guide, use this, these question words to help you ask questions to get more information about the story 
depending on what the speaker is, is providing you. If the person's saying, well, vacation, um, well, okay, so where, they may say, well, where did you go, Puerto Vallarta? Well, where did you go specifically, specifically in Puerto Vallarta? Is there a name of a hotel? Uh, did you go to any special restaurants, any special excursions, like these fun trips where you take a boat ride and you do all these other interesting things? They may go into greater detail. You could ask, well, you, okay, so where did you go in Puerto Vallarta? Well, we went to a hotel, so we went to this hotel. If they know the name of the hotel or whatever, whatever information, additional information can be provided, you're adding this information as the listener of the story. The listeners can ask questions for clarification for further information. You want to get as much information as possible. All right. Once you've completed the story and you've completed asking questions and you've completed answering as many of the question words as possible, okay, maybe it's not necessary to answer or to have information in all question words. It's going to just depend on the story itself and it's going to depend on uh, how much the person can talk about any of these question words. But once you've completed this, story with this person, then you're going to go on to the next person in your team. Remember, you're going to have three or four members, depending. So you're probably going to have two or three or three or four of these, of these blocks, of this block of information. So each person, each team, team member is going to have an opportunity to share his or her story Every team member is going to have an opportunity to ask questions as necessary to get as much information about the story as possible. Now, one final thing I'll suggest when doing this um, exercise. One of the things I learned from listening to many of the introductions was that many of you have really good attitudes about helping others, right? Um, and a lot of you have a lot of good strengths about meeting new people and extending help and being helpful to, to others. And so in this exercise and in all exercises like this, where we're working together in groups, I want you also to be encouraging and helpful to your classmates. Maybe they're struggling in trying to explain something. So be willing to help them make suggestions. Maybe they're not sure about the vocabulary. Maybe they're stuck on a particular word. So be, uh, be willing to help and assist your team members. Okay, This is something really important that I'm going to ask from each of you is the willingness to help your classmates, right? To communicate and to be understood. And so I think in this first activity that we're going to uh, perform, I'm gonna ask you from the very beginning, even if you may or may not know this team member that well, I want you to, from the first day, from today, is be willing to help and be patient with your classmates and really encourage them to speak as much English as possible. They may, by accident, speak some Spanish. You could say, well, how would you say that in English? Right, so if they are uh, going back to Spanish, encourage them, encourage them to speak in English. How would you say that in English? Is a really good way of asking politely to try to encourage others to speak in English. Today, guys, we're going to start this activity, and I anticipate this activity taking some time. This is our first activity of this kind, and so I wanted to spend some time here at the beginning explaining how to get into the different groups, how to access the different tabs within each group, and also how to activate the meeting within each group. 
of course, as we become more comfortable with this environment, with this platform, I won't have to go into this as, as much as I am today, but this is our first time. So I wanted to spend some time uh, describing how we're going to do this. All right. When we complete this activity, the last thing that we're going to need to do, and we probably won't finish today, but let me tell you what the last step is. After you have completed telling your stories and you've asked questions and gotten as much information about each story as possible, the final step is to go back to our introductions from yesterday. And I'm going to ask each one of you to choose one person from the list, only one, any person from the list that's not the person that told you the story. And I would like for you to retell the story of your classmate. So you can say, all right, so Monica went to Puerto Vallarta with her family because my brothers and sisters, we were all stressed from school. And you tell the story, you explain the story that your teammate told you. And you only choose one person to respond. Remember that when you respond to a person, you'll need to go into the person's video and scroll down where it says, add a comment. And when you add a comment, then this is like a response, a video response to one of your classmates. Again, the classmates should be different than the person who told you the story. So you'll be able to choose from any person, right? When you're selecting a person to uh, respond to, choose a person that has no or has few comments. You'll notice that some of you have comments and some of you don't. All right, these are all my comments. I go into each one of your introductions and I leave a comment. So when you're going in and leaving your comment, try to choose someone who has the fewest comments. Okay, the whole point is that you're choosing someone who has not already received a comment from another classmate, right? So they, everyone's going to have a comment from me, but I would like only one comment response, again, because I want everyone to receive a comment from their classmate. All right, this is all also part of a way that we can get to know each other, get to know uh, some of our family members and experiences. All right, but this is going to be the last step. So this is why also, if you have not had a chance to complete this activity from yesterday, this will be the first thing that you need to do after today's class or after uh, classes today in the afternoon, make sure that you have uploaded your introduction so that others can respond as well as myself can res respond to your introduction uh, as part of today's activity. Now, that was a lot of information, I know. Are there any questions about today's group activity? I think just the last thing. Teacher, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. Um, can I talk in Spanish? Yes, you may. Okay. Um, tenemos que hacer un, um, por ejemplo, el OneNote o un Word, pero ahí vamos a escribirlo de todos, o es como que cada quien tiene que hacer uno y contestando las preguntas de la historia de los compañeros. All right. I think what I would do is work together. So let, let's go back to the example. Under files, I think we are under notes. All right. So what I would do. Let me wait here. OK, what I would do is I would work together. So let's say there are three members in our team. So two members are going to be listening. One person 
is going to be telling the story. The two team members that are listening can work together and complete the same outline. Pueden trabajar juntos los dos que están escuchando la historia en lugar de cada quien con su propia esquema. No, pues un, un esquema. Esta es la persona que está hablando y los dos o tres que están escuchando pueden llenar este en tiempo real. Está escuchando, 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 complementando, llenando el esquema en tiempo real. Obviamente, si hay dudas, si hay acl aclarar o quieren algo más específico, los miembros que están escuchando pueden preguntar basado en este es mismo esquema. Es decir, los miembros que están escuchando están trabajando juntos, llenando el esquema de la persona que está hablando, que va a presentar aquí en los títulos. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Tiki. Okay, you're welcome. Yes. Uh, regarding the last step, if you want, because today we're not going to have time to uh, complete the activity, we're going to begin starting what we're doing here. I'll explain again when we finish this. I'll explain again the instructions for uploading to Flipgrid. But it's very important that everyone complete the introductions, okay? Because if you don't complete the introductions, then no one can respond to your introduction, okay? Which is part of this activity, All right? So um, I'll explain when we get a little bit closer to completing this first part of this activity, how we'll uh, respond to the introductions in Flipgrid. Any other questions? Yeah, me. Yes. Uh, can you put the team list again? Yes. Please. Here's the team list. You can find your name. I'm not able to show the entire list at the same time. Can everyone find their name? Or anyone not able to find their name? Hmm. Are there any other questions about uh, the activity? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Um, the, the activity, for example, my video is a comment of you. So another people is going to, for example, choose my video and some of them are going to respond to my video by saying what? Like the experience about my, his family? All right, so um, yeah, so here, let's take a look at my video here. Yeah, okay, that's me. <laughs> all right, so Tanya, all right, so uh, that's fine, Tanya. Um, I wasn't really clear in the instructions if you were to respond to my video or not. It doesn't matter, that's okay. Um, but everyone should be able to, I think, respond to your video. All right, if, um, all right, so in the case of Tanya and it looks like uh, Daisha, if you guys want to respond to them under, under mine, you can add a comment to my video if you want to uh, choose either Tanya or uh, Daisha. All right, so that's not a problem. But the idea here is when you guys are, you're going to retell a story. You're, you're going to tell a story that one of your team members told you. So when you guys finish the task, let me go back to teams. All right, let's say that you have four members of your team. So you're going to say, okay, one person's going to tell this story 
one person's going to tell this story, one person's going to tell this story, one person's going to tell this story. In your team, you're going to decide. You're going to say, okay, who's going to tell Monica's story? Who's going to tell Tanya's story? And then each one of you will tell one story. You're going to, based on one of your team members, you're going to go into Flipgrid and choose anyone and retell the story. And we want to choose someone who has not received, preferably someone who has not received another comment from someone else, right? Because we want to try to involve as many of your classmates as possible. We want everyone to receive a comment by someone telling, retelling a story. Se me, me explico? Igual si no está muy claro en este momento, me, me dices y podemos uh, checar otra vez. O si no saben con quién a responder, podemos igual en este momento. Quién falta, quién no han recibido un comentario, etc. Y, and I can help you with that if it's necessary, right? Uh, but we're not going to finish today. All right, so it's already nine o'clock. I want to give you guys a half an hour, 30 minutes. Um, I'll say 35 minutes, 9.35, uh, to begin the task. And the first thing today is to try to tell really good stories and try to get as much information from each story as possible. So it's going to require, again, asking questions, right? So in helping each other uh, with their English as necessary, right? Helping them with vocabulary if it's not if it's uh, necessary. If you're not sure about a word, you can ask your teammates, how do you say this? Okay, right? And you can help each other tell each other stories. All right, so. And we're a telegram okay. in English or Spanish teacher? All in English, all in English, all right? This is gonna be our first okay. activity. And uh, I understand, uh, it's going to be might be difficult, but I want us to start working in groups, start helping each other and think about a story that you can try to explain in English. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to make mistakes and it's all good. What I want you to try to do is is try to express the story as best you can with the understanding that your team members are going to be patient and they're going to be helpful. They're going to help you ask questions to clarify. They're going to help you with vocabulary. They're going to help you articulate your ideas in English. OK, so um, that's what we're going to focus on in this activity. All right, so um, any other questions before we get started? No. no. All right, all right. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll mute my mic. I'm going to stay in this room. Remember, recuerden que cuando ustedes entran en su reunión, en su propio grupo, va a salir automáticamente de esta uh, reunión que estamos ahorita. Está bien, voy a dejarlo así como pendiente. Cuando ustedes terminen a las 9.35, les pido a uh, terminar con su sesión en su grupo y regresar a esta misma reunión para cerrar la clase. All righty. Yes. All right. So I'm going to yes, go ahead, my mic, go ahead and get started. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to stay primarily in this meeting. You can come back or you can send me a message in Teams. I'll be looking for messages there. If you have any questions, I can come into your groups also to clarify any doubts. All right. So go ahead and uh, please begin this activity. Yes.
Teacher tiene el micrófono apagado. Creo. Confirmo, lo tiene apagado. Sí, no se oye. So you guys can't read my lips. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, when you see my lips moving, but you don't hear anything. Yeah, jump right in. <laughs> uh, yeah, what I was saying is I encourage everyone to go into your, pro your uh, profile in Office or Microsoft 365. And if you haven't already, go ahead and add a picture of yourself. Many of you done that already. But uh, it just makes it a little more personable. And as we're getting to know each other, it just makes it a little easier. And um, yeah, so try to go in and do that uh, for next class. Try to go in and add your uh, picture. And during these live sessions, remember, we're going to have a live session pretty much every day, just as we're doing here. And uh, Activate your, your video. I know we have class early in the morning and we're maybe just getting out of bed and maybe we still need to comb our hair. Maybe we need to, it doesn't matter what you look like. Uh, it, the main thing is activating your video. It just makes us, uh, as we communicate back and forth, uh, for me, more enjoyable, right? To be able to see your faces, all right? So please, uh, this is not about vanity and looking pretty, and it's all about uh, connecting and uh, really trying to get the most out of our class, right? And uh, this is not ideal. I don't think uh, it would be much better to be with you guys in person as it normally is, and I hope that this changes soon. But meanwhile, we're going to make the best of it, and I think one of the ways to make the best of it is to being able to see your lovely faces, your pictures, your video. And if you want to go crazy, add a nice little background to your video. If you guys know how to do that. So experiment, right? We can make this, try to make this as dynamic as possible and uh, using some of the tools here in Microsoft Teams. Uh, one of the things I wanted to mention, I just got some uh, an email it looks like there are several students still um, at, that are still going to be uh, added to this class. So I'm going to today I'm going to add more students and try to get everybody all cut up. So uh, this first week we're going to just try the best, try our best to get through the activities. Uh, there are going to be new students coming in. Uh, I may have to add teams, add groups, right? So um, it's going to be um, a little bit of an adjustment this first week, trying to get everybody into the group and caught up. So uh, just be patient. And if you guys have issues or questions about some of these technologies, I know some of these activities are going to be weird trying to learn how to get into the groups. and and um, But... It'll all happen. It'll all work out as long as we are constantly asking questions if you're not sure. And uh, remember that if you guys need to reach me, the best way is through chat, through Microsoft Teams. I actually went last night. I was up around 9 or 10 o'clock checking my emails. I didn't even get to my emails until about 8 or 9 o'clock. Um, and so again, you're you're going to get a quicker response if you send me messages via chat. All right. So uh, tomorrow we're going to continue this activity. Don't worry about finishing. Uh, I want to give you plenty of time to uh, work with your team members to tell your stories. And so tomorrow we're going to have all of class to continue this activity. I'm going to start popping in and seeing how much uh, information you guys have in your outlines, right? So make sure that as you are talking with each other, telling each other stories, that you're creating the outline that we talked about today in class with the question words, what, how, why, when, where, with whom, and you're filling out as much information as possible about your stories. All right, and tomorrow we'll continue the activity. We'll probably have some folks 
uh, some new folks as well added to uh, the activity, which is great. That's fine. But um, but yeah, that's what we're going to be working on. All right. Any final questions regarding today's activity? Teachers, if tomorrow we're going to finish them, the uh, I think I understood the question. Uh, I think the question was, are we going to be able to finish the activity tomorrow in class? And yeah. y yes, yes, we are. Uh, we're going to meet at eight o'clock as we always do. And we're going to jump. We're going to we'll I'll talk with you a few minutes and find out if there are any other questions and then we'll get right into uh, the task that we started today. And uh, I'll give you the rest of tomorrow to also work on the task. So uh, you don't have to uh, necessarily do anything outside of class for next class. As long as you can access the technologies, right? Uh, make sure that you guys can get into Flipgrid. Make sure that you have uploaded your introduction if you haven't already. If you have not received a comment from me, uh, you can expect one today. I'll go in and listen to your uh, introductions, and I'm really enjoying the introductions. Uh, I hope you guys are listening to the introductions of all your classmates. A lot of wonderful strengths uh, that we have uh, in this group. So I really try to uh, listen to all of the introductions so you can get to know some of your classmates, all of your classmates, I should say. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to plan on doing for tomorrow. OK, any other questions? You're welcome. Any other questions? Can yo? Bueno, este, ay, bueno, se lo voy a decir en español. Mm -hmm. okay. Eh, okay. Eh, cuando hicimos lo del archivo, bueno, de la llamada del equipo, el archivo nada más se guarda en la nubecita que sale arribita. O, eh, o si no, hay una manera que ustedes pueden grabar eh, la reunión. De hecho, como estamos grabando actualmente, uh -huh. eh, es opcional. Yo pienso que sí es recomendable, pero no estoy pidiendo este en esta actividad. Si, uh -huh. si estás grabándolo, entonces yo pienso si ustedes entran mañana o pues después eh, va a aparecer como si fuera una reunión, pero no tanto como la grabación para escuchar lo que han practicado durante esta reunión. Entonces, yo voy a dejarlo entre ustedes, si quieren grabarlo o no. No estoy pidiéndolo en, para esta actividad. No voy a escucharlo, a menos que, si es necesario. Eh, la intención es que ustedes pueden reunir, hablar entre ustedes de, eh, durante esta clase y eh, a través de Teams, pero eh, pues si no indicaste, si no seleccionaste cómo grabar, no va, obviamente no va a grabar la, la conversación. Ok, gracias. Ok, de nada. Sí, Any other questions? Uh, yes, I uh -huh. uh, In the questions, the question who, what do we, what do you refer to this question? Uh, with whom? Is that the one you're asking about? Yes. Uh, with whom I think the best thing to do is to include the family members. Remember that this story should evolve around a family experience. So you can mention in your story or your partners can mention, um, you know, who was in the story. Like, was it some brothers and sisters or cousins or aunts and uncles, parents, grandparents? So you can, as you're listening, you can include in your with whom point you can include the family members that were part of the story and then you can also ask questions if there are any other family members if you want to clarify remember you're listening and you want to clarify and get as much detail as possible All right so you can ask well were there any other um family members how many cousins or how many brothers do you have? How many sisters do you have? You could even ask those types of questions. Yes. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome. Any other questions? 
Yes, me. Yes. Uh, on one note, how can we save the document and how can we name it? All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And I know you guys have class at 10 and uh, for our purposes, class is finished, but I'll stick around until 10 before your next class for uh, any questions. Um, all right, I'm sharing my screen and I'm going to go ahead and go into Microsoft Teams. And I'm just going to pick a group at random. Cuatro, cuatro. Cuatro, sure, why not? <laughs> Let's, vamos a ver si, que, que hicieron. A ver. <laughs> All right, so here within group four, and this is going to be the same for any group. Puedes entrar en notas aquí arriba. Okay. And I th let's see what we have. Okay, so uh, yeah, so you've created a note. You've created a page, which is great. And you have your outlines here. Okay, so your question uh, is how um, how do you rename a note? Oh yeah, but I did it wrong <laughs> because um, I opened my one note from the bottoms in the left side. Bottom left. Oh, on your computer. Yes. Ah, okay. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think for the purposes of this activity so that everything is all in one space and you guys can share and, and contribute to the same OneNote, I think it's best to for this activity to try to use the OneNote that's part of the group. That way, everybody can go in, your, all your team members can go in and, and add information. Yeah, the thing was that I couldn't find it. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, somebody found this is yours. Uh, no, this is your group. I know. Yeah, they were oh. talking about they were writing, but I was like, oh, I was okay, you couldn't like, find. I don't know it. where okay. they're writing. All right, no worries. So you can find it now, though, right? Okay. So what I wrote, I need to like copy and paste it in there, or I just leave yeah, it like this. yeah, I would and. Recuerden que ustedes, uh, ideal, ¿verdad? Este, creo que es, sería mejor si ustedes, las personas que están escuchando la historia, que están contribuyendo a la misma esquema, es decir, si tienen tres miembros, dos que están escuchando van a agregar información a este mismo esquema oh, okay. sobre la historia de Tania. ¿Sí me explico? That's Para que, what we did. Mande. Eso fue lo que hicimos. <laughs> ah, okay. Sí, eh, y en este caso, eh, perdón, no sé, no sé quién estaba hablando, pero de, eh, puedes agregar información o lo que ya lo existe en lugar de creando otra esquema. Puedes agregar oh, okay. como datos para que todos pueden obtener así toda la información en, en un lugar por historia. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All righty. You're welcome. Anyone else? Maestro, puede checar si el de nosotros se guardó. Okay. Which group? El dos. Sorry. Which group? El dos. El dos. dos. Uh huh. And notes. No. Or files, let's see. ¿En cuál documento era? Ok, este. There it is. That's the good thing about um, Microsoft Teams. If you're working in OneNote or in a Word document, as long as everyone has a connection to the Internet, uh, everything is saved automatically. So... To answer your question, it looks like everything was saved, no? Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Yes? I don't understand. Well, in the last question, and with whom? Why with an M? 
final of the day. Okay, your question is about what to include for with whom? Um, the letter, teacher. How do the letter and it's in the final of the work? Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat again your question? It's with the question of with whom, why is there an M at the final of who? Ah, okay, okay. So with whom, all right, so whom is a pro, we have two pronouns, who, sin M, a whom, con M. Uh, whom is, uh, for, is a pronoun that you use when it's as a direct object. So, with whom is a prepositional phrase, and whom is the object of the preposition. So, si no está muy, muy claro este, este es lo que van a practicar más en la gramática. But whom is an object, it's an object pronoun, and who is not an, is not an object pronoun. They're different, they function differently in the sentence. So you can say to whom, with whom, for whom, we would use whom con, con M al final. Um, that's, and I have another question. Okay. Um, well, with my team, the question of how, I put like, how do you go there? Now know that how do you feel? That's fine. It can be anything related to how. You okay. can, you, it can be uh, observational, like what you're saying, like how did something happen? How did the trip, you know, occur? It can also be how did you feel about it? But it's optional. It's, it's up to you. It's up to the, the, the storyteller. It's up to, you know, whatever you feel that you want to get from the story. So it can be something personal that are kind of a, a reflection. How does the person feel about it? But it also can be observational. But I'll leave that up to you and the group as far as, you know, how much you want to talk about either one of those. But remember that part of this is getting to know the person. So just ask any. Uh, you know, questions that you think is appropriate that you want to know about the story and about the person who's telling the story. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anybody else? No. All right. Okay, guys. Well, I think we'll stop there for today. And uh, again, I always I like to conclude at 940 to give you guys a break before your next class. But of course, like today, if you need time uh, to answer questions. And of course, if we need to meet in the afternoons, send me a message, tell me a time that you can meet. Preferably, we, if we get groups together to answer similar questions, we can do that. Um, but I know this first week can be an adjustment, so make sure that you're asking questions if you're not sure what to do or where to do it. All right, thanks guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you, teacher. Thanks. Thank you, teacher. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.